To meet the growing demand for the publication of neuroscience research, the American Chemical Society will begin publishing its new journal, ACS Chemical Neuroscience, in January 2010. Dr. Craig Lindsley, Associate Professor of Pharmacology and Chemistry and Director of Medicinal Chemistry for the Drug Discovery Program at Vanderbilt University, will serve as Editor-in-Chief. We caught up with Dr. Lindsley during the Fall ACS National Meeting to speak to him about this new web-only journal from the ACS. Congratulations on being appointed Editor-in-Chief of this exciting new journal. Can you tell us the areas of research that will be covered by ACS Chemical Neuroscience? Sure, thank you. Um, ACS Chemical Nurse is really going to cover a broad range of anything that can fit into the neuroscience umbrella. We'll be trying to cover molecular mechanisms and neuronal function, uh, small molecule ligands that can be used to probe CNS function, all the way to bioengineering and artificial intelligence. Really a huge range of, uh, of possibilities there. And what types of articles will the journal publish? It's going to be a combination of uh, short letters, which be formatted more for rapid communication, uh, your standard full articles, reviews, perspectives, viewpoints, and some hot topics just uh, trying to um, capture new FDA approvals and new clinical trial updates and things of that nature. That's great. Who do you think should be reading ACS Chemical Neuroscience? Well, I think everyone involved in, in CNS research should read it. I think it's going to be applicable to both uh, medicinal chemists, neuropharmacologists, and even physicians. We're going to be very broad with our topics and with some of the imaging work that's captured that could be relevant to physicians. Um, really just anyone engaged in CNS research I think will find uh, the, the content informative. And in addition to falling within the scope of the journal, what are you looking for in manuscripts that are submitted to the journal? Um, well, I think in, in the, the ACS tradition we really want to have high impact uh, pub, uh, content. Um, it, it could be really broad. It's really hard to put a finger on exactly what's going to be in ACS Chemical Neuroscience because we're going to try to cover so many areas. But it really has to be high impact, high quality science. And what opportunities will this journal bring to researchers who want to advance the field? Well, one thing I was hoping is as we have more people doing neuroscience research now, as we have, we're, we're at a really exciting point where we have the best tools possible to study CNS function. We have the best small molecule ligands, things we didn't have just 10 years ago. And what I'm hoping to do with this journal is because the readership is, is find chemists that want to work with neuropharmacologists and vice versa. And it could also be a great uh, way to start collaborations between the two disciplines and help advance the field even further. And can you share with us your research interest? No. Oh. Um, my interest is, is all about CNS drug discovery. And um, so while I'm a classically trained medicinal chemist, uh, I'm a pharmacology professor now, so I really go deep into the biology and the pharmacology. And specifically, my group works on allosteric modulators of GPCRs and going all the way from high throughput screens to proof of concept animal models and beyond. What are some of the major challenges and issues facing researchers in the field today? Oh, okay. Um, so the biggest issues are there's a couple. One is scarcity of journals to publish in and the second is a lack of tools and um, the techniques really to, to explore these targets. So on the first, um, there are very few journals to publish in and the acceptance rates are very low. So there's a lot of, of really good uh, content that's not being collected anywhere in a, in a CNS-focused uh, environment. And second, there, there's a scarcity of good PET agents and spec agents, or there's a lack of awareness of them because there's really nowhere to publish that work. And I think if this journal can be a venue for that work, that's really going to impact the field and allow people to advance neuroscience. We're rolling out a campaign at the ACS National Meeting that highlights authors and researchers and the reasons they choose to read and publish in ACS journals. I know that you both read and publish in our journals, so I'll ask, why do you publish in ACS journals? Yeah. Um, well, I publish in ACS journals just because of the, the quality and the impact the papers have and the exposure our work gets by publishing ACS journals and the number of times they're cited as opposed to some other journals. Um, I really like the, 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 web the web pages we have for the different journals. I like the Paragon Plus way we can uh, submit papers for review, the speed of review. And in particular with, with our current journal and, and where, I've been published, where I've been publishing ACS journals, just the speed of review, the whole review process is very fast. And there's no charges to have your manuscripts reviewed. There's no page charges and there's no color plate charges. So when I was in industry, it wasn't that big of a concern because the company paid for it. But now that I'm an academic and I get every bill for every, everything, uh, you have to be really conscious of where you publish because you have to watch all your money pretty carefully. 
especially in this day and age. Definitely. ACS Chemical Neuroscience is now accepting manuscripts. Visit pubs.acs.org slash ACS Chemical Neuroscience for more information on the journal, to sign up for e-alerts, or to ask Dr. Lindsley a question of your own with the Ask the Editor feature.